In W211 models with a six cylinder engine, the camshaft sensor is located at the right of the cylinder head mounted in the timing cover as indicated by the red arrow. To access it, you will need to remove the engine cover, red arrow. Begin by pulling off the two front air duct hoses, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off of the engine cover air filter housing. Then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover air filter housing straight up to remove it. The cover is held on by four metal clips that grab onto rubber mounts. The two front are shown, red arrows. The rear cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover air filter housing from the engine. It's a good idea to check the voltage supplied to the sensor. Without it, the sensor will not operate. Unplug the electrical connector, then turn the key to the run position with the engine off. Connect your voltmeter to a battery ground and measure the sensor using the positive lead. Then start at pin 3. There should be battery volts. I always start here because if the sensor is missing battery volts, I have an immediate direction to troubleshoot. Then measure at pin 2. There should be 5 volts. Then measure the voltage at pin 1. There should be 0 volts or about 0 0.1 volts. Testing with the sensor installed. Next we can test the sensor's function. Start by removing the plastic cover from the electrical connector. Unclip the latch, red arrow, and remove the cover. Insert a back probe into the center pin, red arrow, pin number 2. Plug the electrical connector back into the sensor. Rotate the engine clockwise by hand using a 27 mm socket and ratchet on the crankshaft pulley bolt, red arrow. Monitor the voltmeter for voltage to fluctuate between 5 and 0 volts, yellow arrow, as the engine rotates. If the voltage stays at 5 volts or 0 volts while you rotate the engine and does not fluctuate, the sensor is faulty. Sensor voltage should cycle twice per engine revolution, 0 to 5 volts, then 0 to 5 volts again per full engine revolution. Testing with the sensor removed. You can also test the sensor with it removed from the engine. Turn the key on, but do not start the engine. Remove the sensor from the engine. See our tech article with the link at the end of this video on camshaft sensor replacing. Connect your voltmeter black lead to a battery negative and place the voltmeter on DC volts. The red lead will be used to probe the electrical connector. Insert a back probe into terminal 2, the middle terminal. Then connect the red lead of your voltmeter to the back probe. Hold the sensor while moving a wrench across its tip. Monitor the voltmeter. The voltage should fluctuate just as it should when rotating by hand. In this photo, the wrench, red arrow, is away from the sensor, yellow arrow, so the voltmeter reads 5 volts. In this photo, the wrench, red arrow, is close to the sensor, yellow arrow so the voltmeter reads zero volts. This shows a properly functioning sensor. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.